Oh man. It's Fina, the Irish girl from high school who named the tree after me and put it in a shopping cart to crash Bridget in a supermarket. <laughs> um, hello. Oh, hello, Bridget. Bet you're surprised I still remember your nickname, right? Um, I guess so. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to tell you. I've got a date tonight, and my husband's at work, so you need to babysit my daughter, Pygmy, for the night. Oh, I can't, I've got a date too, so my son has to do it. Alright, see you tonight. Okay, bye. Man, I've heard terrible things about that Pygmy girl. Oh, Kidaroo, I forgot your portable toilet. Kidaroo, Kidaroo, Kidaroo. Why am I even watching this show? <laughs> Caleb, it's been five minutes. It's my turn to watch TV now. Not fair. I only get five minutes, and you get forty. Hey, kids, tonight, Vina wants me to babysit her daughter tonight, but I can't because I'm going out with your dad. So Derek, you're babysitting Pygmy tonight. All right, Mom. I'm gonna prove that I'm the most responsible teenager in the world. Seriously, I haven't done any rebellious things like, ever. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Derek. She's talking about Pygmy Bachelet. What's so bad about her? Pygmy's known to be the most craziest and most havoc-causing girl in the entire sixth grade. Wait, if she's in sixth grade, then why does she still need a babysitter? Her parents think she's too crazy to be alone. I have a bad feeling about this. I thought Pygmy was coming to our house. Well... She didn't have Tammy to drop her off at our house. Why, hello, Brit Brit. See, I got you all, um, children, I see. So, who's babysitting pick me tonight? Is it the 11th grader? Or the irresponsible 6th grader? Hey! Pick me is the one who's responsible here. And I'm pretty responsible here. Well, there was that time where I kinda broke the window with some cheap Winx Club strawberry shaving cream. <laughs> But still, I'm half as responsible as that freaky sin of a tween. Derek's babysitting, and Julia's just hanging out around in there. Okay, Simon and Brit Brit, go on and have your date. I need to go ahead to the theater and meet my hub. And you kids come on in. Big me's in her bedroom upstairs. Okay, kids, have fun. Um, should we go in? Well, it's not like I'm scared. But, sure, why don't we? Is this bar supposed to be the foyer? I'm not sure. Let's just go look for Pygmy. Which one is Pygmy's? Let's choose the one with the flag. Um, Julia, what's that noise? That's the constant craziness Blab would of. Pygmy Bacuelet. Is that Pygmy under the covers? It obviously is. She is really creepy sometimes. Ugh, yawn. Like, what are you two idiot looking outsiders doing here? Oh my gosh. Julia Watson. What are you doing in my house? Me and Derek are watching you because your parents are on a date. So this is Pygmy Bacuelet, huh? Unfortunately, yes. She used to be a normal girl until one day, a boy accidentally called her Ben Hewlett. How are we gonna calm her down? Like this. Oh, Pygmy, Sanjay and Craig is on. Hey, what? Oh, what's that sound supposed to mean? Oh, she wants to break everything in one of her few puppies. How we ended up having a double date. Did you hear that? Don't worry, it's probably just from outside. What happened to this place? I don't know, but we have to clean it up before they get back. Let's get it started. <laughs> Finished just as Pygmy is calming down. Hello, kids. How was it? Don't ask. 